Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. In previous lesson, I had discussed about the ARM, RISC and the CISC design architectures and we have also compared RISC and CISC architectures graphically. What are the differences between RISC and the CISC architecture? And in this lesson, I'm going to show you ARM design philosophy, how ARM is better than other microcontrollers and uh, what are the other features of the ARM microcontroller. Even you can say ARM microcontroller or microprocessor. There are a number of physical features that have driven this ARM processor design, first portable embedded system which requires low battery power. The ARM processor has been specifically designed to be small to reduce the power consumption and extended battery operation. And it is very essential for mobile applications and the personal digital assistants. And another feature of this ARM microcontroller is high code density. What is the meaning of high code density? High code density means there is more number of instructions, there is more number of instructions per unit memory size. And the another feature of this microcontroller is this is a low price and extremely small small factor, a small form factor. Form factor means the size is really small and the price is also very low as comparison to other processors. Apart from this, this also takes a very low die area which is of course a small form factor which you can say as a small die area. Okay, so die area is small die area. Perfect. And apart from this, our microcontroller has also in place debug uh, technology. Okay. So with this debug technology, which is connected with the JTAG joint test action group, the developer can look inside the processor. Right. So another feature which uh, we had left to discuss that is this is you can say the advanced risk machine. Advanced risk machine. So you can see A, R and M which says this this is ARM. So what we learn from this, this is not a pure risk. Okay. So this is not a pure risk machine. Okay. That means this is a little different than risk core and there are many ways in which it is different than traditional risk machines. So we are going to discuss that um, many ways in how many ways it is different than traditional risk machines. So the first we are going to discuss here instruction set for embedded systems. Okay. So in this instruction set there are many features. So the first feature is variable cycle execution for certain instruction. variable cycle execution okay for certain instruction in traditional risk architecture each instructions are a single clock cycle executed instruction which take only one instruction uh, one clock cycle to execute per instruction but in the R microcontroller, there are many instructions which take a more than one clock cycle to execute, such as load and store. So 
such as load and store and as well as a multiply instruction set which varies depending upon the number of registers being transferred or being used while operating load store and multiply instruction so with this the code density has uh, improved very much which is another feature of our, our microcontroller and the another feature is inline barrel shifter leading to more complex instructions inline barrel shifter okay so inline barrel shifter leads to the more complex instructions which can be accommodate with our microcontroller i'll discuss this inline barrel shifter in next tutorial what are the inline barrel shifter there is another feature very famous feature and that is thumb instruction set okay thumb instruction set thumb instruction set is a 16 bit instruction set which is also known as a 16 bit thumb instruction set So the, this thumb instruction set leads to the increase which is code density. That's mean for a for a same amount of uh, code, our microcontroller takes less memory to store that uh, to store your program. There is another feature that feature is conditional execution in a conditional execution what it do an instruction is only executed when specific uh, when a specific uh, condition has been satisfied such as add on carry such as add if carry add if overflow right add if result is zero so there are so many um, conditional execution branch if carry branch if overflow branch if zero multiply if carry so that those type of instructions known as a conditional instructions and the another feature which is uh, uh, last but not least that is the enhanced instructions enhanced instructions the enhanced digital signal processor instructions were added to the standard arm instruction set to support fast 16 bit uh, 16 cross 16 bit multiplier operations and the saturation so these instructions allow a faster performing arm processor in some cases to replace the traditional combination of a processor plus a dsp so overall in this lesson we have discussed these five features which shows that the variable cycle execution inline barrel shifter thumb instruction set conditional execution and enhanced and enhanced instruction set into our microcontroller apart from this we had also discussed about the arm design philosophy so this is all about in this lesson in next lesson i'll discuss about the use of our microcontroller into embedded system design hardware in which we will discuss more about our microcontroller thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day